Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Neil Howard. So glad that you could return for another segment of Health Professional Radio. We'll be speaking with Michael Scheffler in this segment, Vice President and Head of PCR Business at Kyogen. He's going to discuss how the Quiacuity system helps biopharma customers meet their needs in drug discovery and development. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Michael Scheffler. Thanks for having me and happy to be here. Uh, you're here to discuss how the Kyacuity system uh, works, is that correct? Mm-hmm, that's true. Yeah. Well, a bit about yourself and what led you to Kyogen? Uh, so Kyogen is a leading uh, provider for sample to insight solutions. So I'm an engineer by profession. So I started at the overall instruments division, um, developing a couple of uh, interesting instruments. And um, then over the past 15 years, uh, moved in several roles uh, between life science and diagnostics and ultimately also led me to the development of the Kyacuity. Um, so uh, Kyogen also is a, a provider from sample to insight solutions. So this is something that I was always interested in where you have these kind of connections where you start with a sample at the beginning. This is also where our sample technologies enable the purification of DNA and RNA and several other things like proteins or from blood tissue and other materials. Then you have the assays that uh, make these biomolecules visible and to the analysis and at the end you have bioinformatics and the knowledge base that helps to interpret all these data and when you put all these together then you end up with the automation solutions providing a nice workflow and this is uh, what also initially drove me to catch. As you already said, um, I'm the uh, head of the life science PCR business and uh, in the moment um, we are just uh, working on uh, developing solutions for pharma industry as well as for applied testing, primarily also forensics, environmental testing, but also for life science research. This is where Kaijin was coming from. What is PCR? Why is it important to the enhancement of drug safety and efficacy? Yeah, for PCR, it's polymerase chain reaction. We also have seen it in the in the past pandemia, how useful this can be in order to detect also minute molecules and uh, also can uh, provide information about the, uh, let's say, um, the, the concentration of certain viruses in uh, certain media, whether it's, for example, either blood or plasma of uh, um, uh, human samples or whether it's of environmental samples that are being used, for example, with wastewater. And here specifically, digital PCR helps also to put a further additional improvement to this. So unlike for qPCR, where you have some bulk reagents and then have to detect uh, um, the, the, the crossing threshold to identify how big the concentration is, and then you have to put this into, into relation with standards, digital PCR is the power of absolute. So you put all those little molecules into single partition, and then with the help of the Poisson equation, you'd be able also to derive the absolute quantification, so the absolute quant- uh, the, the absolute concentration of the uh, the target that you were actually been searching for. And this, when you look at it from the um, uh, from the drug development perspective, can help you because it's much faster and it's much easier in order to uh, process this kind of information. When it comes to Kyacuity, does one size fit all? Are there different versions, different working techniques? Yeah, that's a, that's an interesting question, and um, I've seen also some developments over my time in Kaijin here. So actually, Kaijin comes with three different main variants. So you can either load one plate, four plate, or eight plates, similar like the um, the SBS format, the standard laboratory plates that you're aware of into the system. And then depending on this, you also have a certain walk away times, which is all what uh, instrumentation is after and automation. Um, so it helps you to achieve also the, the throughput, whether you're uh, up for a quick and for a fast turnaround like an academia setting or whether you're more in an industrial setting like, for example, with biopharma, where you have several hundreds or even thousands of samples which have to be turned through. So how does it work to customize assays as far as tailored multiplex assays, for instance? For assay customization, um, there's a couple of uh, assays that actually we can offer um, off the shelf and where we already have derived assays um, uh, that can be applied, for example, to um, various areas like for pathogen detection, for gene expression or for mutation detection. So they're all available at our GeneGlobe site, which is our uh, website where you can select and search for uh, specific assays. But in case 
you will not find already predefined content there, then of course you can help us. You can contact us and you can ask for support for our customization service. So customers then approach us and ask about specific essays that they would like to have developed. So this is one, of course, we can we can support them. But also in case they already have an essay and would like to have it transferred over to the Kayaquity, this is where our genomic service team can help them. And uh, ultimately, also when it comes to wet lab validation, so just to make sure that it's not only a design, but also a tried and tested design, then we're helping the customers in order to transfer their essays or develop new essays to the Kaiacuity system. Are there different levels as far as Kaiacuity is concerned when it comes to new cell and gene therapy applica applications? Yeah. I mean, when we look, at, for example, at our current biopharma offering, in the moment we're providing this in two different fashions. So number one, there are uh, AAV vector backbone assays that are also uh, making sure that the product is uh, um, delivering the accurate viral titer quantification. And we're also supporting with the validation of the vector consistency. So this can be either applied during development, but also throughout production. But then we're also having our residual DNA quantification kits and also bio burden and microplasma kits to come that are actually designed to meet all compliance requirements and just need to make sure that uh, the quality uh, requirements for control and for purity are being observed. So we're just making sure that there's an, an effective product, uh, but there's also a, a safe product that do not offer, do, do not, is not exhibited with any kind of contamination. So basically, you're involved in targeting many, many types of compounds and diseases. Are there some that you're more focused on than others? The most recent therapies, uh, when you look at this, um, then uh, we've seen also that there are many, many uh, clinical studies around for the development of AAPs, ATMPs, so advanced therapies, therapy medicinal products. But also looking at this very recently, we have seen that there are more discussions that center around uh, CAR T's, so chimeric antigen receptor T cells with more than 1,000 clinical studies even ongoing. So, of course, as we already have talked about the AAV, similar also for the lentiviral production for the CAR T cells, the workflow, uh, production workflow would also benefit here from the strengths of digital PCR technology in the same way as we've also demonstrated it already for the vector backbone production with the AAVs. Is there anything that you'd like to add for our listeners and then give us a, a website where we can learn more about Kyogen? On the website, uh, you could go to kaijen.com, Q-I-A-G-E-N.com slash pharma minus biotech when you're interested in what we're offering here around cell and gene therapy resources. Well, Michael, I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Looking forward to our next conversation. Thank you very much. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Michael Scheffler, Vice President and Head of PCR Business at Kyogen. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at Anchor, Spotify, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com health professional radio